Suits Up. Um, this is an abridged title. My title is Director of Graduate and Alumni Career Advising and MBA MS Employer Outreach. Could we make it any longer? So here's the deal. One of the key parts of my job that I love doing is I reach out to employers to increase internship and job opportunities for our graduate students across our three MBA and our eight Master of Science programs here at Bentley, okay? I also lead the graduate career advising team where my team advises students in the MS programs or the MBA programs. Tonight, Danielle told me, I'm going to talk to you about your brand. My understanding is you are potentially applying to go to graduate school, whether it be Bentley or any one of the other fabulous institutions in the greater Boston area. And by the way, in case you haven't counted, there's about 30. So you got a lot of choice out there. Choose wisely, choose well, choose strategically. The first thing I'm going to tell you, and I'm dating myself, this article was written in 1997 by a real leader in management thinking, Tom Peters. And it's called The Brand Called You. And you notice, what brand do you think that is? What product do you think that is? Us. Yes. Nobody does their laundry, huh? Tide. Duh. Shut up. <laughs> Tide! It's branded, isn't it? OK. You, each and every one of you, are a brand. Figure out your brand. When you apply to graduate school, know your value, know your sweet spot, know what makes you different, know what makes you cool, know what makes you the right person for that program at that school. So start getting introspective about that. Don't freak yourselves out. You know yourselves. You know yourselves really better than anybody else in the whole world. Probably even better than your parents know you. Because you're you. You're living in your skin. So think about it. When you apply to grad school and we ask you for those essays, put some heart and soul into it. <coughs> Think about what excites you. What have you cared about in life? What, if, what really, what makes the world interesting for you? What makes what you've done to date appealing, noteworthy, interesting? Because it all has to be. It must be. You know why? If you're thinking about going to graduate school, you are forward thinking. You are achievement oriented. You want to get ahead. People don't go to grad school because, uh, what the heck, I'll just spend a boatload of money because I got nothing else to do? I don't think that's why they go to grad school. I'll tell you something else. You don't go to grad school to get three letters after your name, MBA or MS in IT business analytics. Those are just letters. You go to grad school to get knowledge and use that knowledge wisely and strategically to get more money, to get more work-life satisfaction, to move up the ladder. So think about all those elements when you're writing your essays, when you're applying to grad school, when you're thinking about why grad school. Let me give you a tip, too. If you're thinking about doing an MBA, Think about the concentrations at the schools that you're looking at. And look carefully at those concentrations. An MBA, don't let the faculty hear me say this, by sheer nature is a degree in management. It's the concentration you select that gives you that extra edge. If you select business analytics, if you select information technology, if you select, that family, these are some that we have, Law and taxation, or accountancy, or economics of financial markets. You're giving the next employer the signal that you have deeper expertise in a functional area. And let me tell you, folks, I talk to employers around the state, around the country, around the world on a daily basis. They want everything, all rolled into one package, you. They want the soft skills, they want the hard skills, they want you to be likable, they want you to be personable, they want you to be energetic, they want you to stay the course. I mean, oh my God, it's like, all right. And this is 
all the more since the 2008-2009 economic downturn. That's when the employers let a lot of people go. And they, they laid them off. They fired them. They let them go, right? You all remember that economic downturn? It was bad. Well, you know what those employers learned? We can do just as much as we were doing with less headcount. We're going to save money. So every headcount, every person they bring in, better bring it. So just think about it. You can. You're awesome because you're already thinking. 